911. I I need a camel, please, here, right away. We found a dead body in our freezer. I've never seen anything like this. The remains of possibly a female was found. It was evil, demonic. The most horrific, barbaric conduct. Me and my wife just screamed and we came up and I went to the front steps. I called 911. Just too many things didn't add up. absolutely horrified. They just couldn't believe what they saw in that freezer. Me and my wife just screamed and we came up and I went to the front steps. I called 911. I jumped in my car and came straight to Camel. When I arrived, they took me to the back of the house, which was a, a doorway that led into the basement. And I knew at that point that it must be something serious. As soon as you walk into the basement, you could see the white freezer sitting on the ground with the garbage bag sitting next to it. The freezer was three foot by three foot, looked brand new, but it had like a, a strange latch that would be padlocked. At that point, Sergeant Manning spread the bag a little bit so I could see in it. As I turned and repositioned the way I was looking at it, I realized, oh, wow, that, it is actually a foot. Detectives are trying to find out the mystery of who this body is in the freezer. They talk with the homeowners, Ken and Jill Eschenbaugh, and they're told this haunting story. He said, my electricity's off. Can I put my freezer in your basement? And I right. said, yeah. All right, it's okay, sir. 28 year old Shannon Graves was an up and coming hairstylist full of dreams until detectives found her dismembered body in a couple's freezer. Never in my mind. In my deepest, darkest nightmares, did I ever fathom this occurring. Investigators are, in the meantime, trying to track down this person who put the freezer in there named Anthony Gonzalez. So what is this about? Development. And they find out that Anthony Gonzalez is actually an alias. I know you go by Anthony. But for the purpose of this, we want to use your proper name. Anthony Gonzalez is actually Arturo Novoa. He's Shannon Graves' boyfriend. It's a shock to everyone. Did you, at any point, take a freezer to a house in Camel? I did not. So you didn't go to Kenny Eschenbaugh's house on Devitt with a freezer, with a padlock on it, and put it in his basement? I did not. And he is actually sitting in our interview room with the keys to the padlock. Those are things we can demonstrate right there that you're lying to us. Now I have people that know you saying you brought a freezer to our house. When they opened it up, guess what they found? What did they find, sir? Why do you think you're here? The charge is abuse of a corpse. Excuse me? Abuse of a corpse. Are you being serious right now? I'm not fooling with you, man. So the question was for everyone, if this was the body of Shannon Graves, who was the woman who was spotted going into her apartment, driving her car? That woman was actually Katrina Layton, Arturo Novoa's new girlfriend. 34-year-old Katrina Layton was a single working mom raising two children, including an autistic son. At that time, there was a lot of pressure for us to go into that apartment. When we would go there, knock on the doors, the dog would bark, so we knew the dog was in there. But nobody would ever answer the door. Katrina's car was parked there, and it just so happened that it had been parked on the street for so long and the plates were expired that we ended up towing that car. That is what triggered Katrina to come to us for our initial interview. So listen, while well, I got you here, one of the reasons we've been knocking on doors down there okay. is because we're looking for Shannon. Oh, yeah, I've heard something about that. I haven't really been following it all too closely. We knew that she was living there. She had nothing to really add to the story about where Shannon might be. When you moved in with Anthony, was her stuff still there? No, I don't remember seeing anything. Maybe her dog was there. 
Yeah, the dog was there. In her car. If she left her car, then how did she get in there around? You know what I mean? Yeah, well, supposedly, I mean, from what I've heard, she left with some guy. Katrina gave us basic story that, yeah, Shannon is... Arturo's ex-girlfriend, she moved away with some other guy. What we later found out was a really bitter rivalry for this man. There did appear to be a love triangle going on. What I could tell you about Arturo was he dated Katrina on and off for about eight years. That included before and after Shannon's disappearance and death. I was wondering when you got back with Anthony. It had to have been about, I don't know, I wasn't even keeping track. Honestly, I wouldn't even give it a try. Katrina Layton was completely obsessed with Arturo Navoa. When Katrina Layton found out that there was a, another woman, her obsession with getting Arturo Novoa back commenced. She was extremely jealous, and they say she hated this new, really pretty girlfriend of his. So she leaves her car, she leaves her dog, she leaves his phone, and no, the Anthony's Go ahead, I'm sorry. not new girlfriend, but old girlfriend who's now back is now using the phone that I got Shannon you. was using. Yeah. And so it looks weird. Arturo Navoa, while he was living with Shannon Greens, repeatedly had sexual intercourse with Katrina Layton. Katrina is completely obsessed with Arturo Navoa to the extent that she would wait five hours in a motor vehicle in January in 15 degree weather waiting to perform sexual acts on Arturo Navoa in a car. What was interesting was we found out later that that wasn't it for Arturo. He was using other women too that Katrina didn't know about. We've got evidence in his computer that he was involved with at least three other women that he's sexting pictures with. Now after the discovery of the body, Katrina and Arturo were both brought to the station at the same time and interviewed independently. Investigators were looking at Arturo Novoa as their prime suspect. You have no idea what became of her? Where I she ended up? I do not. I have said this to everybody. But they also had questions over his new girlfriend's possible involvement. Maybe she got rid of her. Do you see how tiny I am? <laughs> really? <laughs> Katrina Layton is a mom with two kids. She was absolutely in love with Arturo Novoa. She was crazy about him. People described her as his on-again, off-again girlfriend. That when he couldn't have somebody that he really wanted, that Katrina was his fallback. Now, after the discovery of the body, Katrina and Arturo we were both brought to the station at the same time and interviewed independently. We focused on Katrina. There's been some developments. All right, well, let me know what's going on. We would talk to her for a little bit, leave, come back, go talk to Arturo, compare stories. Why do you keep saying a body in a freezer? Because there was a body in a freezer. What do you mean there's a body in a freezer? And what freezer? The freezer that you guys bought. You know, I told you about 10 times that the missing girl is dead in your freezer. It, I'm looking for some kind of reaction. I, 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 because You don't I'm, look shocked at all. Yeah. No, it's not that. I'm just trying to process everything. Then she starts revealing that, yes, she bought the freezer. Let me ask you something. Forget all this. Did you kill her? Hell no. Were you there when she was killed? No. Okay. What? Well, sure looks like you did. No, what do you mean it looks like I did? She's in your freezer, the one you paid for. So it kind of looks like you killed her. She was banging your band. You hated her. And you are in possession of all Whoa. her earthly goods. So it kind of looks like you killed her. Oh, God, okay. it looks like I killed her. She thought she could outsmart us. She was almost as good as Arturo, except that she had a need to try to explain things. And in doing so, she let little things slip. You guys are sitting here telling me that there's anybody in this freezer that I did not bring to Kenny's house. You said anything about Kenny's house? You just told me it was in Kenny's basement. Yeah. I mean, I'm you never assuming. Said anything about a basement. Well, we never said anything Kenny's, about that. Okay. We never told you that. Let's stay small. Girl in the freezer. What do we I, know about that? I, I get that. How'd the you end up in your freezer? The problem is, is I don't know. If you're driving around in someone's car, you're living in their apartment, you're taking care of their dog, it's beyond belief that you don't know more about what's gone on. The woman who's screwing your boyfriend disappears and you basically slide right, slide in. right into her life with her dog. And you don't know 
about it, and it's a coincidence that she ended up in your freezer. I didn't know that she disappeared. I thought she left. Well, she I, reappeared today. I thought so. they, I thought they broke up, and she left with somebody because that's what he said.